Do you know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of every holiday being overly commercialized. That means we're taking back Valentine's Day. Like Who's we? we? Gamers. Oh, gamers. We're, we're taking it back. We never owned it, but we're, we're taking it over. Oh, we're taking it over. Valentine's Day should be about spending time with the person you love or the people you love. It doesn't have to be a spouse. It can be a best friend. It can be a brother, a sister, a child, a cool grandparent, a crazy next door neighbor. Maybe he's your best friend. We don't know. We think instead of spending money, <clears throat> you should sit down and play games with your person. Your person. Your person. So we decided to do Do you know who my person is? Fucking better be me. <laughs> it's probably Dennis. It's probably Dennis. <laughs> He's not here right now. So we're not talking about Dennis. I'm your All person right. for this video. So we got eight games over eight different consoles over four different generations. Imagine the brain power it took to figure that out. Do the math, Jen. I know. We'll wait. No, there's not enough battery. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go from the oldest generation, which is number five, the fifth generation of yes. consoles, and work our way up. So for the Sega Genesis, we have uh, Turtles Hyperstone Heist. Yes. Which is basically the same as Turtles in Time. It is. You think Turtles in Time is better. I like Turtles in Time better, but- This is better. Maybe it was because this I grew up with SNES. This graphically, I find the colors are richer and it sounds better. But I played the other one first, so it's my favorite. Anyway, it's a typical Turtles beat em up there. It's yeah. basically the same as the arcade version on the NES. Yep. I felt on the other game, I was constantly getting hit. This one was a little bit more forgiving. I think so. It was. Maybe it was. It was. It was easy. It was easy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had a ton of fun with it. We sat down, yeah. what, an hour, hour and a half? Oh, I don't, if? Even, I don't even think it was I don't that even long. think it was that long. Yeah. But yeah, it was fun Freaking game to pass the time. Yep. Not too difficult. I, it took me a while to get a copy of this, and I had to get a loose cart. Shout out to uh, Johnny Chase, because Johnny Chase. he sent us a message. And Thanks for hooking me up, buddy. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Finished talking about the Sega Genesis. So we're yep. going to go to your favorite console. Yes. The SNES. Well, it's not my favorite, favorite console, but it's it's up there. So you love the SNES. I don't like when people say <laughs> SNES. <laughs> anyway, Sunset Riders for the Super Nintendo. Yep. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, I, I really liked it. I actually picked up the Sega Genesis version of it, and I haven't tried that yet. So I'm no. interested to see what the differences are between the two. I think you'll probably like uh, the Sega Genesis Super fun, side-scrolling shoot them up kind of game yeah where you're just cowboys you can pick from four different characters it was a lot of fun it is fun uh, it it's, killed me it's that we bit, didn't beat it it's it's hard it gets it harder hard. some of those bosses they get a little bit hard did anybody else that play that anybody else that played this when you jumped down the bowl the first time did you jump over every set of horns <laughs> because i did oh, I, I did because i thought they were going to hit me <laughs> so I was jumping over every set and I was like, oh, they can't get me from there. I just walk forward until they're done. So I was jumping over all of them. You're so pretty. Thank you. All right, let's move on to the sixth generation of yes. consoles. We just played this one tonight. We so did. We haven't finished this game, but damn. Hot damn. Hot damn. Contra Shattered Soldier. Scott hadn't even pressed start yet, and he was like, I know I'm gonna love this game because the music is amazing. If the intro on this game can't get you pumped to play this game, yep. I don't know what's wrong with you. If you like metal or heavy rock or anything, that You're gonna music like is it. awesome. It's just a da 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 It's difficult. It's hard. It's hard. But. I mean, there are, you need to watch It's a contra. Yeah, it's a contra yes, game. It's a contra game. Yeah. So it's just a matter of figuring out the patterns and getting exactly. through it. And it gives you, uh, we've had it on easy our first time playing. I think eight. It gives you eight lives to start yeah. with and a whole whack of continues. And oh, if yeah. you die halfway through the stage or just past the halfway point, yeah. when you go to continue, it'll ask you, do you want to start from the beginning or at the middle? Uh, duh, yeah. middle. So, so you get some practice of playing the levels. Yep, it's a fun game. It is. Wicked awesome soundtrack. Graphics are amazing. It is. I yep. was surprised how good the graphics the PS2 were, game. were for a PS2 game. Yep. Exactly. Oh yeah. I loved awesome. it. This so, next one I think we enjoyed as a family. 
passing, passing controller around. Yeah. The original Xbox, Stub the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. Yeah. Is just a fun. It's just fun. It's it's not even a beat em up. You can't it's even take weird. it seriously. You it's can't. Not, this I, game doesn't take itself seriously. No, it's like. It has this weird, what, 1950s, 60s kind yeah, of theme to yeah. it there. And you're just basically a zombie causing chaos. Yeah. You're running through town and you just bite whoever you want, eat the brains, What's turn them into other zombies. your favorite part not driving stuff in this and like flipping, <laughs> flipping the tank or not yeah. the tank. It was like a Jeep or whatever. No, it was a tank. I have to, I can't remember. This has been a little while since it's we played this It's been a little while, but we had fun with it. Yep. And Alex was laughing his ass off, watching us drive oh, yeah. around, running each other over, like oh. falling out of the thing. It's just fun. It was It's fun. just a fun, cool little game there. Yep. Could, I, I don't even know how to describe it. How would you describe it? It's not platforming. It's not beat em up. It's, <laughs> it's not necessarily open world, but yeah, ish. It's got a weird little story to it. Yeah, it's cool. It's an Xbox exclusive. Uh, a little bit harder to find. It is a little bit harder to find. When you do play as co-op, uh, you're just playing as the same character split screen. Yep. So you're still, both of you are, are stubs. So we're going to move on to our next generation of consoles, mm -hmm. the seventh generation. We get forgotten about, I think, as a seventh gen console. Pirates Plunder. Plunder. This was on Scott's list last year last for games he list. had to pick up. If oh, you've yeah. played, what was it called? Uh, Battle Crash? Or, no, no, Castle Crashers. Castle Crashers, yeah. This is very, very similar. <laughs> similar, same feel as Castle Crashers there. Um, I think this one will make you want to beat your head up against the wall a little bit more. This is harder. This one's harder than yes. Castle Crashers. There's always a bit of a pattern to certain things or yep. certain things you'll have to do in order to beat a boss that we found out after many, many times. <laughs> you got to figure it out. Many times. Do, um, you, can, you get points at the end of every level and you can upgrade everything. Like it, you yeah. can, there's a list of weapons you can take. And say it's axes or, or swords, swords guns, guns, daggers. So, and you can carry, I think, two weapons at a time. Yes, you right? can. Yeah. So, if say I was using the sword and I I use that weapon more, you upgrade the sword to make yes, it stronger. Yes, make it stronger. Instead of upgrading guns, because my character started with guns and I didn't like it, so I chucked them and then picked up a sword. I leveled up faster than Scott in this game, and that's not true at all any other day of the week i no. never level up faster but i i think i was doing generally a little not not a lot bragging? better but it because i have to because <laughs> i never do a little bit better than you i either like feel like i'm a supporting cast you're, you're there to make me it's look true. good it's true but you i usually... did do a little bit better yeah. just slightly I did. you did yeah. yeah yeah that's my game i think i went two balls to the wall i go right after the boss you do yeah. and it was not a smart play uh, i figured out some of the tough. things we had to do there yeah. and i was like oh. well there was one boss <laughs> i would beat it by myself because you kept dying i don't remember that uh-huh next console is the xbox 360 so we have a bullet hell death smiles this <laughs> <laughs> This is an interesting animated game. With anime, there's always a <laughs> hint of sexuality to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We played through it twice. We played through it on the arcade, the mode, arcade mode and also the, the 360 mode. Yeah, and if I were to recommend which mode to play, I would recommend the 360 mode because yes. it does look better. It does look better. And then you can go into your settings and adjust the screen size to make you it can. fit better in, yep. on your TV. Um, Bullet hell. Bullet Shmup. hell. Not overly, not not difficult at all, no. and not even that long of a game. No, we played so, through it twice. Yeah, I don't know if the game took a half an hour. I don't think minutes. it did. No, yeah, yeah, it was like if you guys just have a little bit of time and you want to sit down and play a game. Yep, it's really good. Getting to be a little bit more pricier for a 360 game it was is. forty dollars Canadian, which yep. for a 360 game is pricey. In my oh, opinion. Oh yeah, because yeah. you can get a lot of common 360 games for five bucks now. Uh, the the best part of the entire game, uh, and you can make two different choices at the end of the game. So yeah. when we played the arcade mode, we made one choice. When we played the 360 mode, we played a different choice. Yeah. And at the end of the game, they're all in like a bathhouse, completely naked, but you don't see nipples, so it doesn't count. Exactly. 
You don't see nipples or nether regions? Doesn't I count. like that pick. <clears throat> that was a good pick. You made that pick. Good I, on you. I picked this up. Yeah. <laughs> So we're into our last generation. Yeah, I'm sad to say that our name is Retro Rivals, but we like the newer gen games better. Definitely for the co-op, these were two of our favorites. They were. It's... And we haven't completed either one of them, but... We are going we to. We are going to. We have to. Which one do you want to talk about first? Dealer's choice. You decide. All right. A Way Out on the Xbox One. Yes. Had been on my list to play for a while. Pac-Man Case had talked about it, said him and his wife had played through it. Uh, I really wanted to play it, and... Uh, I really didn't know. I wasn't really gung-ho to play no. it No. Oh, well, I know, because you kept putting off. You're yep. like, let's play this game first. Let's play this one. I'm like, <laughs> I want to play this one. I don't know how far we are into the game. I don't want to give anything away. It cause... starts a tiny bit slow for maybe the first half hour. Yeah, for the first half hour. And then... Uh, once it's basically your two different characters and it's weird because when you're on the screen you're split screen down the middle it's not necessarily always down the middle though sometimes you have three quarters of a screen and one quarter or two thirds and a third do you uh, know what i mean like I sometimes your character will have a little bit more of the screen based oh. on what <clears> they're doing at that time so basically the two guys are figuring out how to break into prison yep and they're basically after the same guy that kind of Harvey. put them put them there i found it got really fun after you got into prison yes because there was a couple there was one part where i was driving the truck and you were in the back <laughs> in the bed shooting the cops were trying to run me off the road i was laughing so my butt off. much fun but did yep. we not also have fun climbing the wall Oh my god, <laughs> that was in the prison. Yeah, this is, that was a lot of fun. That game, I was like, oh my god. After watching her just trying to move the laundry cart there, I was like, this is not going to go well. Where you, we had the link arms back to back, our characters, and then I put my feet on the wall, she put her feet on the wall, and then there's like a pendulum style where timing, you have to hit them at the same time. We're in that certain space in order to walk up the wall, and if one person goes up higher, you're like, whoa, 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 wait, until you get caught up. And I was like, oh, shit, this ain't going to work. But we we're made it. We're a great it. couple, but apparently we're not super in sync. We're not in sync at all. The other cool thing I liked was when we were in the boat. Oh, the so boat was awesome. One person's in the front of the boat, one person's in the back. So how you turn your boat is, if I want to turn to my right, we get on the right side of the boat, we paddle it, and it'll turn this way. Yeah. And the same goes to the left. Yeah. You now we get into a part where we're starting to hit rapids, and your oh, boat can only take so yeah. much damage. So where our boat took as we much just, damage as it could. We just got through. We just got through. <clears throat> but I, I can't wait to play the rest uh, of this. We're gonna finish this we're game. We're gonna finish it. Loved it. Yeah. Loved it. It's not that expensive at all. No. What was it like? Ten dollar game. I know. It was yeah. super cheap. Well worth it if you don't. True enjoy it. True co-op experience. It reminds really me have to work together. of that show. Um, Prison Break? Prison Break. It reminded me of Prison Break. Okay, our last <clears throat> game. Dragon's Crown Pro for the PS4. Yep. This is awesome. I had played this on my Vita. I played a little bit on my yeah. PS3. I've never gone through the game. We will complete this game. Yes, it's a lot funner couch co-op than oh, it yeah. is playing by myself. It is a, it's a beautiful game artistically, like all the graphics oh, and everything. Yeah. Uh, and the sound is amazing too. Yep. And it's it just is. a hack and slash friggin rpg it is yeah. it is and you know what neither one of us are big rpg people. I, I like the I'm action sorry. rpg stuff, yes but the i don't like turn based like. yeah the turn based rpg but you know what that's the beauty of gaming yep. everybody has their like little niche that they love more and we can all get along i can't wait to play the rest of it I'm trying to get jen to paint me something what I, I don't remember the names of the characters we took I remember well, yours had the big booty. I got Titzilla. Oh, you had big she's booty. She's got both. Uh, she's all booty. Yeah, she's all booty. And uh, you've got the most jacked guy, probably. I don't and no the one's names. not jacked or has a Kardashian <laughs> ass in this game. This is not an expensive game. Even the game. fairy. The fairy was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Even the, yeah, she's kind of hot. Yeah, you can get this PS3. Or we do have it on PS3. I do have it yep. on PS3. I have it on the Vita. You can't play co-op on that. No. Or PS4. We just happened to see the Pro. I don't know if all the PS4 copies are Pro or not, but this yeah. is one of those steel, steel book. book. We never collect steel book, but it was a good price. It was a really I great price, it. so we got it. Yep. Yeah. That's so, it. So that's the end of our coach. That's it. It's not Valentine's Day anymore. No, it's Coach Co-op co yeah. Day. Mm -hmm. I think when your spouse asks or your significant other or whoever. 
the loved one in your life says to you, what are you getting for me for Valentine's Day? You can pick one of two options. You can pick the easy route or you Lingerie. can pick the dangerous route. <laughs> and you could say, um, I think we should play a game together for Valentine's Day. I want to spend Day. time with you, honey. Exactly. You can. That's the <clears throat> easy route. Or you can pick the dangerous route, and they say, when they say, what did you get me from Valentine's Day? You say, nothing, we're gonna play a game together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, that's cool. That was awesome. Yeah. Yep. I would spend every Valentine's Day like this. I would spend every couch co-op day like this. February 14th, couch co-op co day. Game, Game on. on.